We will next look at the VLOOKUP function. The VLOOKUP function requires four pieces of information. The first is the value to be looked up. The second is the range of cells where that value is located. The third is the column number in the range containing the value to be returned. Fourth, the word FALSE should be entered where an exact match is required. Let's say, for example, that I would like to find out who the salesperson was for the client Sarah Parker. It is very important when working with VLOOKUP that the item that you are looking up is in the very first column of the data set. So if I'm looking up the name Sarah Parker, it needs to be in the first column of the relevant data set. So if I type in equals VLOOKUP, open parentheses, I am looking up Sarah Parker, comma. Now I need to select the table array that I need to search for the salesperson in. So the salesperson is actually already in the second column directly after the full name of the client. So I can select that table array over there, comma. And now it is asking me for the column index number in which the salesperson can be found. And the salesperson is in the second column within that data set. So even though on the table the salesperson is in the fourth column, in the data set that has been selected, it's actually in the second column. So I type in a two, comma, and then I need to type false to achieve an exact match. Close parentheses, enter, and now Joyce Adams has been selected as the salesperson of Sarah Parker. Let's say I want to know what the commission amount was for the client Sarah Parker that was achieved. So I'm going to type in equals VLOOKUP, open parentheses. Again, I'm going to choose Sarah Parker as the value that I'm looking up, comma. The table array now is going to be all of this data over here because the commission amount is in that final column comma, and now I need to count the number of columns from the very first column that the commission amount can be found. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's in the seventh column, comma, false to achieve an exact match, close parentheses, and that amount is 4,200, which is the commission amount achieved for the client Sarah Parker.